हेलो एवरीवन दृष्टि आई एस वेलकम यू टू द न्यू सीरीज ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज केज एक्वाकल्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिशरीज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फिशरीज एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड डेयरिंग गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ऑर्गेनाइज अ वेबिनार ऑन केज एक्वाकल्चर इन रिजर्वायर स्लीपिंग जायट्स द गवर्नमेंट हैज इयर मार्क्ड द इन्वेस्टमेंट टारगेट्स फॉर प्रमोटिंग केज एक्वाकल्चर अंडर फ्लैगशिप स्कीम प्रधानमंत्री मत्स्य संपदा योजना और पी एम एम एस वाई Now let's understand what is cage aquaculture. Cage culture is an aquaculture production system where fish are held in floating net pens. It aims to utilize existing water resources but encloses the fish in a cage or basket which allows water to pass freely between the fish and the pond permitting water exchange and waste removal. into the surrounding water the first cages which were used for producing fish were developed in south east asia around the end of the 19th century now let's discuss about cage aquaculture and india sea cage farming in india was initiated by the cmfri with support from the ministry of agriculture and the National Fisheries Development Board that is NFDB It was started in Visakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh in 2005 The country currently has around 3200 marine cages India has 3.15 million HA of reservoirs and about 8.0 lakh HA of flood plain wetlands that is jheels monds chors pads etc spread across the major river basins in the country management of cages will be under the technical guidance of state fisheries department or federation or corporation icar central inland fisheries research institute and national fisheries development board targeted fish species cage culture in reservoirs is being promoted as a commercial activity therefore fast growing and economically important exotic species such as pangasius that is pangasia and don hypothalamus and gift tilapia being widely farmed in cages now moving on to the significance almost all large and medium reservoirs in the country are owned by the government or government agencies Fishers do fish these water bodies as common property resources with free or almost free access. Fish produced from the reservoirs is essentially a natural resource and the traditional and local fishing communities have the natural primary rights to this resource. Livelihoods of many poor people depend on catching fish from reservoirs. Reservoir fishing is sometimes allowed as a means to rehabilitate the people ousted from the dam project site now discussing about the advantages its installation is easy flexibility of management less manpower requirement and better control of fish population treatment of disease is much simpler than that of pond culture It requires less investment because it uses existing water bodies and simple technology and swift return of investment. It helps to maintain the non-seasonal supply of the fish. Since the cage is meshed, fish inside have less chances of being attacked by predators. They can be used to clean up eutrophicated waters through culture of caged plantivorous species such as silver carp now let's discuss about the disadvantages stocked fish simply affected by the external water quality problems example low oxygen levels the crowding in cages promotes stress and allows disease organisms spread rapidly 
Caged fish are unable to get the natural food of their choice, whereas it is readily available to the free fish. Nutrient enrichment of waters may lead to increased algal growth and downstream impacts. Now moving on to the question for today. Which of the following is not a feature of cage aquaculture? It requires less investment. It requires less manpower. Caged fish are able to get better natural food than free fish or nutrient enrichment of waters may lead to increased algal growth. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Drishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.